So today I thought I would do a quick unboxing of the John Cassavetes five film box set from the Criterion Collection. This is the box set and you can see there's quite a few films here, obviously five films. And there's a booklet which I'll bring out as well, which I'll show a little bit of. Um, John Cassavetes was an uh, amazing filmmaker, independent filmmaker from the 70s. Well, he started in the 60s and uh, through the 70s. A lot of filmmakers work with a group of actors that they're familiar with, that they're comfortable with working um, with, and John Cassavetes was one of those directors. Of course, Ingmar Bergman also would do the same thing. He had a company of actors that he worked with um, during the winter months on uh, stage in the theater, and then during the summer he would make uh, films. And so John Cassavetes is, um, has a similar approach, right? He's working with some actors that he knows well, that he's worked with in the theater, Peter Falk, Gina Rollins, etc. Those are the actors that perform in, in his movies. So this box set, again, has five films in it. Um, I'm going to go through each one individually. There's a listing of the extra features on the back here. You can see a pretty extensive listing, a short description of Cassavetes himself as a filmmaker, and then a list of the, of the uh, features. But I'm going to go through each one individually. So the first film from the box set from 1959 is Shadows. This is the directorial debut from John Cassavetes. And it's got quite a few extra features on it, including, I believe, the documentary, which I'll go through. So this has a high definition digital restoration. It's got the documentary, which I'm really looking forward to, I haven't seen yet, which is called A Constant Forge, The Life and Art of John Cassavetes from 2000. This is a 200 minute documentary. Um, it's got interviews with, um, one of the actors and the associate producer, silent footage from Cassavetti's Lane drama workshop from which uh, shadows emerged, restoration, demonstration, stills and, and um, uh, poster galleries, and then a trailer. So this is the first one. And pretty much these go in chronological order in the box set. This next movie is Faces and it's from 1968. It's about a disintegrating marriage and this has a lot of extra features on it also. This has a high definition digital restoration. It's got an alternate 18 minute opening sequence. It's got Making Faces, a 2004 documentary featuring interviews with actors Seymour Castle, Lynn Carlin, and Gina Rollins, and director of photography Al Rubin. Al Rubin also uh, has a feature on here on lighting and shooting faces, a new program featuring a commentary by him as well. This next movie is a classic, A Woman Under the Influence, starring Gina Rollins. And this is, a, this is a great film. It's got an audio commentary by the sound recordist and composer, uh, conversation between actors Gina Rollins and Peter Falk from 2004. So these are later interviews, which is great. Uh, audio interview with John Cassavetes from 1975, a stills gallery and trailer. Great film. From 1976, John Cassavetes take on film noir with the killing of a Chinese bookie. This again has many extra features. Aside from the high definition digital restorations of the 1976 and 1978 version of the film, it's got an interview program from 2004 featuring actor Ben Gazzara and producer Al Rubin, and an audio interview with Cassavetes from the 1970s, a still gallery, uh, stills gallery and a trailer. The Killing of a Chinese Bookie. The final film in the box set is Opening Night, again starring Gina Rollins. This film, uh, aside from the digital restoration, has a conversation between actors Gina Rollins and Ben Gazzar from 2004. Again, many of these interviews in the 2000s, which is great to hear um, an updated um, take on the film from the actors. Uh, an interview with producer and director of, of photography Al Rubin from 2004, and another audio interview with director John Cassavetes from the 70s. This is the last film in the box set. And then finally in the box set you get this booklet, which is great. This has a number of interviews with John Cassavetes, um, many, many articles. I'll show just a little bit of it here. Um, feature called Cassavetes on Cassavetes, which is great. There's a few of these with uh, from each of the films here. And there's, an, again, an interview with John Cassavetes. Some film introduction. This one happens to be an introduction to Faces. Some articles and commentary written by Cassavetes. There's an article from Martin Scorsese that appeared in a publication um, after 
John Cassavetti's death in 1989. So this booklet has a lot of interesting material to read as a supplement to the box set. So overall, so that is the John Cassavetti's box set from the Criterion Collection. Amazing presentation, amazing films. Um, these, these films have their own individual uh, spine numbers. Uh, some of the box sets that have been put out by the Criterion Collection have, it, have their own spine number, but these have their individual ones. So it goes from spine number two, uh, 251 to 255. So I hope you enjoyed my quick unboxing of the John Cassavetes Five Films box set from the Criterion Collection. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. See you next time. This is not good. No. Nope. Nope. Sale. And so I thought I would do a quick unboxing for you today. This is not good. This is not going well at all. All right. I'm going to try to do another intro over here somewhere. And it's got Al Ruben on lighting and shooting faces, a new program featuring the commentary by Ruben. Ruben. <laughs> Ruben. I don't know why I was singing just there, but that's what I, that's what I was doing. Um, let's see. Just got to put these in order now when you put them back in the box. Uh, 74, 76, 76.